Hello and welcome to Ivy Times TV. Today's Wednesday, September 21st. I'm Maurice Christian. NASA's seven-ton defunct satellite is projected to plunge to Earth this week, and FEMA is getting ready for the fiery fall. The Upper Atmosphere Research Satellite was deployed from the Shuttle Discovery in 1991 to study Earth's atmosphere and its interactions with the Sun. The satellite has been orbiting aimlessly out of fuel since 2005. According to NASA's website, as of today, the orbit of the UARS is 120 by 130 miles, and re-entry is expected for Friday, September 23rd. The re-entry of the satellite has advanced due to a sharp increase in solar activity since the beginning of the week. According to calculations made by NASA scientists, the satellite will break into 26 pieces as it gets closer to Earth. But scientists say the risk of getting hit by parts of the satellite or other falling orbital debris is low, just one in 3,200. NASA doesn't know where the satellite will land, but it's estimated that the debris footprint could stretch about 500 miles. The $750 million mission measured the concentration and distribution of gases which cause ozone depletion, climate change, and it also studied the dynamics of the upper atmosphere. Researchers have confirmed that there are no hazardous materials left in the satellite. However, they urge people not to touch any fallen parts. FEMA says they are laying the groundwork for a fast response in case a piece of the craft falls over American soil. Marisa Christian, IB Times TV.